Well, hello, scrappers. Or maybe as an Okie, I should say, howdy, scrappers. Or is that Texas? Or both. Now, today I got these radiators. And I'm thinking, I think the majority of them may be uh, copper brass. This one here is probably aluminum, as white as it looks. the grain tarnish on here, I'm saying that's copper. This, this, this is that uh, ones I picked up Saturday. The guy had them tore down this far. I guess you can see the colors there. You see the brass up here. And that's definitely orange, so that's copper. Looks like the metal pieces are already off the side on that one. Is there out the scale? Just see if I can balance that on there. Seven pounds, one ounce. Called standard iron today. I think they said a dollar fifty a pound, and I thought, really? I'm hearing reports brass is going for a dollar seventy, dollar eighty, dollar ninety-five, and they want to offer a hundred dollar fifty. Then I called Metal Check, and they said two two oh five or two ten or something like that a pound for copper brass. So there's seven pounds. Oh, I got a notepad. I had a notepad out here. I may have taken it in the other room. But, uh, there's a sharpie. I got an old manual for the sawzall. I'm just going to write on it. The CB for copper brass put seven pounds with a one point something ounce. I just put one ounce, seven pound one ounce. And that one, that was clean, ready to go. So that was easy, wasn't it? Okay, I'm gonna. I've got three or four other ones out there. I think in the semi that are clean and ready to go. I'm not exactly sure if I want to take them in just yet and sell them anyway. But For the new scrappers, if you don't have magnets, just go down to the auto parts store, Walmart, get you one of these telescopic ones. So the magnets stick in there. So we've got steel there, that doesn't stick, that doesn't stick, steel on this side. So, and then what's it made up of? Magnet doesn't stick, so we know it's not steel. You don't have to grind hard, just kind of light. You can see the yellowish color here, kind of gold, gold looking. Kind of gold, yellowish, that's brass. Your orange is your copper. So the copper brass, but we got to get rid of the steel. Now, usually what I do, I'll just, I guess, pry bar, pry it off. This first course of copper usually comes off with it. And then I set them aside, and later I go back with the Propane, handheld propane torch. I put the steel in the vise, and then I just kind of heat the steel. And as the solder melts, the uh, copper will just kind of come off. Yeah, as you're heating it up. Pretty easy. It takes a minute, but okay. Pry bar. You usually have a lip. Right here, you got a lip here. You got to get up under. That's kind of in the way of prying that outward. Well, another way to do it would be to take the hammer, 
probably the easier way. Once you pry that out, Yeah, if you're not in a hurry, it would probably pay you to go ahead and just heat that up as you go, probably. But I can see it pulling back here. It's pretty loose all through here. I guess if a person wanted to, they could just take an angle grinder to a vessel. Yeah, that didn't work too well, did it? the easiest way right there. But as I say, put that in the vise, then you just kind of hit the flame right in there, and this will just kind of peel off. So I just set them aside for the time being. Of course, once you get that off, that's clean copper, and then just put that right in with your number two copper. Mainly, just got to knock them out far enough to get clearance. Let's get a weight on this one, if we can. I can knock those ends back in a little bit so they don't stick down below the top of the scale. So it's a little wider. 8.3. <laughs> it's nice, most of these are copper brass, so they get nine, uh, over a hundred dollars worth of copper tubing from the guy. Eight pounds, three ounces. I'm not worried about the point. Well, This one's a little different. And it doesn't seem to be sticking anywhere. <coughs> it's probably all aluminum, I guess. Hope everybody's doing all right. sure what these are bringing, 40, 50 cents a pound maybe. We can guess it at 50 cents a pound. And six pounds, 1.6 ounces. So let's put this in a different sack. Six pounds, what? I say six, six. Yeah, I don't want to balance on that side. Six, one. I 
got a little bit of cleanup on this one to do by just looking at this. I cut the plastic ends off, but if you look, none of the tabs are bent over, so apparently he just cut it with something. Got a pretty decent cut. So we still have plastic here from the plastic caps on both ends. Let me hit it with a magnet. Make sure. And I'm not seeing my I got a little carpet tack puller somewhere and I'm not seeing it right off. So and normally I get get under here and I pry up against the plastic to pry these tabs up. But now I don't have the plastic there to pry against. So but that's usually what I do. I get in there, I got a carpet tack puller that's got a, a bend to it and it'll get right in there and bend the tabs right up and you go down one side and down the two ends and then you can pry the thing right over but we might lose a little bit of aluminum this way but we're not losing much because it takes so much to make a pound to cut each individual tab off and I thought shoot I might as well just cut down the side and then I get a big piece. Big piece I can throw in the clean aluminum. First one I've ever had to do this way. But it's still possible. I know that's hot, so I'm going to get some pliers. I'm just going to set this aside over here. Pretty well went all the way around on this thing. So we got the plastic that goes around there, and then there should be a rubber gasket. One end up. They were just about done here. I thought I'd bring y'all along on this little adventure. I wasn't sure what I was going to get into, but uh, before I fire that back up, I want to thank everybody for stopping by. So we got one more radiator. I think it's copper brass, and we got to get the metal ends off. I want to remind everybody about my uh, affiliate link, Amazon. 
affiliate link. See several of your purchasing items and making a little extra money that way. Helps out on bills and getting more stuff paid off before I retire. everybody for stopping by and watching and uh, hope you all are finding some good good finds out there I know I heard, hear some of you guys saying you're getting still getting 200 a, a ton for shred they have a metal check they're down to 120 and uh, standard iron which is oh probably 40 miles away I guess they're paying 140 a ton so they're paying good on shred, but they're not paying very good on proper brass radiators. But, uh, if you're enjoying this video, give it a thumbs up. If you're not a subscriber, I'd appreciate it if you would. Let's see what this one weighs. I know I'm not getting this in on the camera, but just trying to kind of save time. Five pounds, seven ounces. So five, seven. It means uh, 11 pounds, 11 and a half pounds on on aluminum. So that's about five dollars on aluminum for at around fifty cents a pound, and uh, we're at fifteen pounds right now on the copper brass. So just the copper brass at thirty dollars at two dollars a pound. This one's kind of heavy, really. And I think I'm going to throw another disc on there just so I can. And yeah, no, I don't. I get my back up. I didn't really want to have to change the disc out on camera. And he did this one the same way, it looks like. I'm going to check them others. I see. I see plastic here, so he cut them off too. So I'm going to have to try to bend those out or something. May just have to get a chisel and hammer. Yeah, let's take care of that first. Get to show off my new toy. 
gotta dig it out from behind the tripod here. I need to clean house in here one of these days and make some room. Let me move the tripod over this way a little bit out of the way. Put the camera back where I was. Now this little guy I have on my uh, affiliate page. Yeah, as soon as I learn how to use it. Some of these advertised, this one might, where the thing would come completely off the end, you could turn it around and you could put like a sheet of plywood up in there. But uh, you set it in there and you got a pedal, push that pedal down, locks it in. It's got to be down, to, there we go, there it locked it. What I'm going to try to do, I don't know what I'm doing with that big screwdriver I had. I got a big enough one here. Instead of trying to cut all those tabs, I'm going to try to just bend them. Okay. Now you have to get a finer tooth. I guess he thought he was doing something when he cut them plastic off, but in a way I think it just made it a little bit harder. But not too bad. I guess I could put it right there in the and then instead of trying to get under that tab, put it in a little no notch between the tabs. Patience always helps too. This is the last one anyway, so that's good.
Yeah, I'll let her go ahead and knock these out since I got them here in the workshop. Of course, we're supposed to get some rain tomorrow night, but I think they said it's going to be after 8 o'clock, so I'll probably be in the house anyway by then. I always try to have something in here in the workshop here to work on in case I get a rainy day. So I got that whole shopping cart full of stuff I still need to tear down. I got a bucket full of faucets and stuff outside. Not to mention, I still got those two buckets I got to sort through. Pull the coffer and brass out of there. I still got that bu bucket of brass that I get brought on Saturday too that I got to clean up. So I got quite a bit in here. Enough for a few hours of fun. Okay, there's the plastic. It's always good to have a little little pick. Get in there and get under that stuff. Because if you don't have a pick to sharpen a nail on the bench grinder. Okay, now I gotta get this thing loose so I can flip it over. I think that's all the way up. Should have pulled it up and that clip piece is supposed to. There it goes. I guess I have. I guess that's the trick. You gotta pull that up and push down on the foot pedal. Some of you guys may already have one of these things. Okay, push it down to clamp it. It's supposed to have like 2,000 pounds of clamping force. So. I say I haven't really used it. This, I think I clamped one thing down earlier in it, just kind of playing with it. But for this situation right here, it's kind of nice. It's a pretty comfortable work height, and it get, you know keeps both of my hands free. I don't have to worry about it falling over. And I'm not affiliated with this company that makes that at all. I just get people asking where I get different tools, device, and different stuff. So I uh, applied for an uh, Amazon affiliate page and got accepted. So then I just, it's almost, almost like Amazon wish list. That's just right in there with the wish list stuff make a kind of a wish list or that's just for your store. They're pretty easy to do. I'm not making a lot of commission but you know, it's kind of an advertising fee because you're kind of advertising for them. So they kind of pay you a little bit for advertising. Yeah, this is kind of slow going a little bit. I think it would have been quicker. Bring it up. Cut it in. Releases. This little radiator's got a little weight to it. So I don't think I can. Maybe I can. Yeah, it broke off. I'm trying to see if I can just pry that out from under the tabs. Yeah, I think I can. Maybe. Oh, that one broke. Go easy. It's working. It's coming. Yeah, when scrapping, don't be afraid to try new things. You might find an easier way to do something.
guess I, if there was maybe a favorite quote for Oki Scrapper, it would probably be, as I say it all the time, is there's about as many ways to scrap as there are scrappers out there. Okay. Put an unlock mode. And let's see what, we, what kind of weight we got. I guess to stand up. There we go. 13 pounds, 5 ounces. I think that thing had some weight to it. Oh, we can't go. I still got to get the metal off of there. Man, I thought I was on a roll here. Not a lot of weight. Pound six ounces. Twelve and eight is twenty, that's twenty seven. Twenty seven pounds, ten ounces. That's a little over 27 and a half pounds, so that's about $55 right there. So, in the copper brass, we got about $55. We got about $5 there in the aluminum. So that's about 60 bucks. They put that 60 on top of the 100 and something I had from the uh, the copper. That's 160. And that doesn't even count the three hot water tanks and refrigerator and all that other little stuff. So I was guessing that is about a two, $200 load. I'd say, yeah, easy. So, and like I say, I, I would put this in the vise. I just take the torch and you can heat it from the back side or heat it from this side and I usually grab onto this and pliers and pull gently as I heat that up with the propane torch but you can probably use map gas and then that just kind of come off and then you have clean copper clean number two so About all there is to that. So yeah, I guess we'll call that a video. And uh, I want to thank everybody for stopping in. I'll swing my camera over here and get a picture mug with mug. I think that's one of the hardest things for me to do is to stand there and look at the camera when I talk. And I want to look around at everything, you know. It's, you know, not just stare at that <laughs> lens. Maybe I need to put a, a face right there and <laughs> I don't know. But uh, I want to thank everybody for stopping by and another day in the workshop, a little workbench time. This is Friday night. Uh, and, and I want to ask you guys to subscribe. 
hit that like button if you enjoyed it, and uh, and uh, we'll be sending more videos your way. Like I said I got to go out uh, in the morning and pick up some refrigerators. I was going to use the uh, three-quarter ton truck and a big utility trailer because I got another woman in my said she's got a bunch of washers and dryers and then some other stuff. So I was thinking, okay, I need the utility trailer, which I might use that tomorrow afternoon, but I'm going to have to let my daughter use the truck, take her boyfriend to work because her car's overheating. Looks like she got a radiator leak or something, but so her air breather and all that comes in and her windshield wash is all right there and it's radiators kind of back in behind that so it's kind of hard to see so bad thing is that she's reserved places at the state park and whatnot to take the kids on a little vacation next week next weekend <clears throat> i'm not sure how many days are going to be gone but she's talking about going out to the lower illinois river and doing a long canoe trip and then she's gonna take them out to Robert's Cave out there and probably do some hiking and whatnot out that way. So, plan on putting a few miles on her, her vehicle, so she's gonna have to try to get it up and, and fixed this week. So, I guess uh, he's gotta go to work tomorrow, so I guess she'll have to take him. But from what I understand, after child support, he doesn't have much of a check left. I think I need to make a scrapper out of him. What do you guys think? <clears throat> There's a lot of scrap metal in this little town, and I run my ad in the OEC paper, and a lot of people in this town don't look at the OEC paper. But I <clears throat> get enough that I stay busy. But uh, I do have a map of the trash routes and what, what day they pick up where, and then every, every Friday, basically, is large trash. Yeah. Pick up, they pick up normal trash Monday through Thursday. If your trash day is Monday, large trash is first Friday of the month. If your trash day is Tuesday, then large trash second Tuesday or second Friday of the month. So <clears throat> I think you need to get a small pickup and get out there and start to <laughs> hitting that trash route in the morning. But uh, yeah, he just taking an online class for coding, so maybe he'll go somewhere with that. But I think he's still got another year to go. So, but. Uh, He's not bringing he's not bringing in much doing that security work. Hey, anyway, that's another story from another time, and I uh, hope you guys enjoy your weekend. Hope you find a lot of if you're not at the lake or out and enjoying the weekend. Hope you find if you're out scrapping. Hope you find a lot. So we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye bye.